instead, yes, they carry their brood of larvae with them as they go, setting up temporary encampments from which to stage their raids. They're undeterred by natural obstacles and even human dwellings. The only option is to get out of their way. Individually, each ant inflicts a painful sting, similar to a wasp's. But army ants don't attack alone. Their assault comes in the hundreds of thousands. In extreme cases, the flood of toxic venom can send a full-grown man into shock. But army ants set their sights on smaller victims that they can consume. The forest floor erupts as creatures flee for their lives. When a scout finds prey, it emits a chemical signal to its fellow soldiers through a gland in its abdomen. Thousands of comrades answer the call and fall upon the prey instantly. Each sting weakens and dissolves tissue, readying the victim for its ultimate fate, dismemberment. The ant's pointed mandibles aren't for cutting. They simply grip the victim tightly while pulling it to pieces. Then they haul their grisly cargo back to camp to feed hungry larvae.